Welcome to the deep dive. Good to be here. So uh, today we're taking a look at Sam Altman's TED 2025 fireside chat. Well, a report on it anyway. Right. And the idea is to kind of unpack his view on AI, where it is, where it's going. Exactly. And importantly, what it means for, you know, us. The report kicks off with this great line about Altman walking on stage. Oh, yeah. Like a man who just taught his toaster to code. That's the one. Kind of sets a specific tone, doesn't it? It does. And what really jumped out right away was his take that the whole AI revolution thing is not some future event. He thinks it's already happened. Pretty much. The report quotes him saying, AI has already unpacked its bags and is binge watching our lives. So like, settle in. Wow. Okay, so it's here. And he's not just talking about like spell check getting better. No, not at all. He sees AI evolving into what he calls cognitive sidekicks. Cognitive sidekicks. I like that. So moving beyond just being a tool. Yeah, something more integrated. Part of our thinking process almost. The report had that scenario. The co-pilot for thoughts idea. That's it. Like anticipating what you need. Uh, the example was reminding you it's your mom's birthday. Right. And even suggesting the perfect gift before you've even thought about it. That's quite a leap. It is. And it suggests an AI that's, you know, proactive, learning your style, maybe even how you communicate. Which does raise questions, doesn't it? How much do we want our thinking intertwined with AI? Exactly. And look, it's not all smooth sailing. Altman himself, according to the report, brought up the hard questions. The tough stuff, yeah. Safety, governance, control. The usual suspects, but maybe more urgent now. Definitely. And he apparently touched on AI maybe getting smarter than humans. Oh, really? How did he frame that? Still bullish. The report called it a philosophical shrug, which is... Interesting. A shrug about super intelligence. Well, yeah. The, the analogy used was like worrying about your Roomba eventually running the household. Okay. That's right. certainly a take. Maybe a bit dismissive. Or just trying to manage expectations. Hard to say, but it does make you pause and think about what control even looks like down the line. Because the core issue, as the report points out, isn't just raw intelligence, is it? No, it's the ethics. Mm. The values, like who's programming those into these systems? Who do we trust? That feels central. It's less about can they do it and more about who decides what they do and how. And connecting that back to the TED Talk itself. The report suggests this could be a pretty significant moment. A turning point. Why? Just because yeah. it's Altman. Partly, yeah. But also because of the scope he mentioned. Things like AI writing, wedding vows, or drafting treaties. Whoa. Okay, wedding vows I can maybe see, but treaties, that shows the potential scale he's thinking about. It really does. And it brings those moral questions right to the forefront, doesn't it? If AI can do that, we really need to figure out the governance side. Absolutely. It feels like the conversation is shifting, maybe, from just the tech excitement to the, well, the responsibility. I think that's what Altman was getting at. The report sums up his final thought as the future not just being faster, but what was it? Uh, Deeper? stranger and entirely up for grabs. Yeah, that leaves you with a lot to chew on. It really does. So wrapping up Altman's perspective from this report, AI is basically here. It's set to become this deep cognitive partner. But these huge questions about safety, control, and ethics are front and center. They have yeah. to be addressed. So thinking about all that, here's a question for everyone listening. Based on Altman's vision, what's one part of your own daily life you think AI will most profoundly change soon? And crucially, what new questions does that specific change raise for you? Hmm. That's a good one to mull over. Definitely some food for thought.